Hey YouTube, this is Farm All 51 here. Just heading to uh, cut some bushes this afternoon, but um, this is my 499th video. And um, like I say, the video I got for my 500th will be a pretty nice video. I uh, uh, went to um, went somewhere this weekend and um, been working on it for about two days, two or three days now. The video, so trying to make a pretty good video out of it. Hope you'll enjoy it. And um, if everything works out, um, should be uh, getting some new editing software. So get away from the old uh, Windows uh, Movie Maker. And it's been alright, but I'd like to get something a little bit newer, a little bit more modern. Um, it's just here lately it hasn't. Well, it's been alright, but I like to have something a little bit newer, up to date. You know, everybody's got newer stuff, so kind of need to keep up and make the videos look a little bit nicer. Um, but I appreciate all the comments you've given me and all the um, ratings and uh, the friends I've made. Um, I mean, I've got a, a couple people like, you know, Vidman uh, Ron there, um, Cub Cadet, Tractor Guy 140. Uh, Coconut 107, uh, Jason, um, there's, there's several, and I'll, um, you know, I can't remember everybody's names, but, um, you know who you are, if you keep in contact with me, or if you watch my videos, uh, you know I appreciate it, and, uh, I try to get to everyone's videos, uh, and comment on their videos, too, uh, on the subscribers list, so, um, if I don't comment on your video or anything, you know, I, I usually do like it, um, and I, I very, you know, I never hardly dislike videos. I don't like to do that. That's just to me, it's poor taste. You know, if you don't like it, you know, just just don't, you know, do anything. You don't say, it, don't leave a rude comment or anything. But um, and I appreciate that, you know, everybody liking my videos. So um, let's see. I'm gonna say this is my 499th video, and um, it's been September 30th, 2007, when I started on YouTube. So, and I just um, was putting some of the tractor pulling videos that we or we places that we've been to, and a few things uh, with the tractor club that we're in, and. Um, I didn't really expect to get the response like I, I had gotten off of uh, from you as far as the the comments, you know, the likes, you know, and all that. Um, but I really appreciate it, and um, it's just something to do. And I mean, it's it's something to do, and I enjoy it, and I enjoy making the videos, and I enjoy you know helping people out. I don't like to do uh, informational videos um, on the tractors. Um, maybe there's a problem, and you know, and I. I thank you know everyone for you know contacting me and asking me you know if they have a problem with their tractor you know I try to help you the best I can. Um, I really learned a lot in the last couple of years um, with talking with a lot of the uh, a lot of the guys, a lot of the guys in the tractor club that are that have worked with International, and um, I try to learn all I can from them because when these guys are gone, there's there's nobody going there's not not gonna be anybody left that knows the ins and outs of these tractors, the little secrets. And uh, what I'm starting to do now is I've talked to a lot of these guys um, and they've agreed to go on, you know, go on camera and do a short um, life experience with uh, working with International Harvester as far as some of the employees. Um, I talked to a guy the other day, he's 92, started with International I think in the 50s and early 50s and have been with International until they so they went out and even worked with the Case IH dealership after so he is an amazing person to talk to um, he's 90 like I say he's 92 years old and just full of information um, big 140 uh, a big 140 guy there he's a uh, he's worked on a lot of internet um, from all 140s in his time so but uh I think you'll enjoy talking to him and a few other guys that have worked with International here in the local area. But I'm going to uh, do like an interview with them here in the next couple weeks 
Because like I said, when these guys are gone, you know, then nobody's going to remember. Um, the, little, the little small um, things, how to fix the steering and little little hints and tips and tricks and stuff like that to, to uh, learn. Um, it's always interesting to me, mechanical stuff, so I, I always enjoy talking to them and learning what they've got to say. So, and I encourage you to do the same thing if you know of anybody that's worked with International Harvester. Um, to get up with them and and learn all you can. So, but because uh, the days of the the guys that have worked on these tractors and lived and farmed with them are getting closer and closer to the to being gone. So, but uh, like I said, it's a 499th video. Thanks. Uh, I thank you for watching. Um, thanks for helping me out with uh, questions and things like that. So, uh, but the next video coming up will be my 500th and. I think you'll enjoy it. Um, I've worked a couple days on it, so uh, let me know what you think and um, leave some comments and, and um, you know tell me what you think. Anything you'd like me to do, like to see, um, I'd be happy to do videos on it. Um, tractors that you uh, that I've got that you want me to um, do a little more uh, videos on. Um, I try to space them out and do. Videos on uh, videos on each one and um, and all that. So, but um, I guess enough rambling on here. But I'll uh, talk to you later. And um, like I said, I hope you enjoy the video. And I'll see you for five hundred more. So, all right, talk to you later. Bye.